Yeah. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, let him run. Oh, he's rubbing on something. Did he come out? Oh, wow. He's out. Ah, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. He's towing me into those pylons. Oh no, that's a big fish. Oh no. It's free spool. Oh no, man. He, I couldn't stop him. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on. Come on. Don't be gay. There he is. There he is. He's so deep in there, it's not funny. He's just running around the pylon. Holy moly. Come on, out you come. He took off straight from... Oh no, I think he's bricked me. Oh, you're okay. Oh no. Oh. Sugar. Oh, he's still on. Is he still there? He's still there. You're kidding me. There he is! We got him! Oh my god! Don't go anywhere mate! Absolute tank. I think I just got my 60 guys. Oh my god. 
I think I just got my first 60. No joke, this thing is huge. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, I've had the worst week. And this thing just makes up for it. Oh my God. It is a football, it is an absolute football. That thing is huge. Look at the size of it. It's a freaking tank. No way. No way, I just can't believe it. This thing is huge. This thing is absolutely huge. Oh, look at that. Look at that, he's hooked just in the side of the face. Oh my God. My good friend Shane gave me this measuring stick. <laughs> If he's not 60, he's about 58, I reckon. I'll get a proper measurement on him, but that thing, that thing is a tank. My goodness, I'm afraid to pick him up. Look at the, he's a football. I'm just blown away. That is huge, that is, I am blown away. You can see these swim baits. When they get this size, there is literally, no reason why they won't swallow that thing whole. Holy cow. That is an absolute tank. 58 to 60 centimetres, I'll get a proper measurement on him. Dead set. He's about six kilos. Wow. Oh, flare up for me, mate. Flare up. Come on. Come on. He's an absolute tank. You know when they say Australians get no bees, so are their jacks. Oh my God, I can't hear this. He's so big. He's like six, five or six kilo. Oh, come on mate. He's so big, he's actually fat. He's a fat fish. Holy moly, that is one for the memory bank, that one. That's, let's get him back in. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. I've had the worst week. I haven't fished in like 10 days. Come out here and get a PB jack. <sighs> no way. Thanks for watching guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, was really not in the mood for filming yesterday, so nothing else happened actually for the rest of the session, so instead, of trying to make a video out of absolutely nothing. I might go through the gear that I've been using for swim bait because a lot of you guys have been asking. So yeah, so I was not in the mood for filming yesterday, but today feeling a little better. So I'm gonna walk you through the gear I've been using and the lures, well, just one of the, just the lure that I caught the fish on yesterday and how I've got it rigged up. Starting off, this is the lure we were using yesterday. It is the Gantia in the Ghost Minnow. Uh, it's probably the most realistic. I probably wouldn't have been using it to be honest because it was real, like we just had a heap of rain and it was a bit dirty, the water. I actually wanted a darker color, but I only have the one ghost on and I was fishing the clearest part of the, the canals that I could find. I think it comes standard with ST58s. Not really sure what they are, but they look pretty similar. Maybe something, oh, I don't know, but they seem to be doing the job. I probably wouldn't leave them on there, maybe three to four jacks and they might be a bit wrecked, but they handled it pretty good yesterday against that jack, the only Thing was I didn't really put a lot of pressure on it it got to the pylons pretty quickly so I didn't want my line to snap I actually had most of the fight with the jack in free spool with my thumb lightly on the on the spool another cool thing is it's got the teeth mark it left the teeth mark in the top of the lure and I bought this one for comparison so this one I measured it at 42 millimeters which was 57 centimeter jack and a really healthy one at that 42 millimeters are uh, 40 to 42 depending on the angle of the 
of the joint, 40 to 42. This one was between 50 and 52, depending on the angle of the joint. The one that hit this that we didn't actually catch in the other film was, um, was a lot bigger. So it'd be interesting to see how much bigger the eight mil in the size of the mouth. I don't think it's its fang marks. I think it's the actual teeth behind the fangs. So I reckon the fang marks are meant to be on the other side of the jack, but it'd be interesting to see eight mil wider jaw, how that converts to a longer fish. That was one interesting thing about that. One other thing is I've got the sticky weights on the bottom. They say this is a suspending lure, but it actually slowly floats in the salt. So I've got two sticky weights on the bottom there. It looks like a large, large atomic and then the medium sized one on the back and that gets it pretty much just sinking like that fast. It's really, really slow. I'd rather wait two or three seconds after casting the lure and have the lure presented as still as possible on the pause then have it sink in too fast and the jack go. That's really unnatural whenever you pause it beside the pontoon. That's that. I'm probably gonna replace those hooks. I just don't have the right size in my tackle box at the moment. A couple of the points on the front treble are bent. So that's, that's that done. Next thing is the rod and the reel and the line. We've been using the Daiwa Touch Light 7 foot 6. Mine's not 7 foot 6 anymore. I cut the butt off. So it has a handle that goes out probably about that long. Uh, as soon as the handle finish, I chopped it off and put the small, that's just gone up a bit. As soon as that finished, I actually chopped the, chopped the handle off and then put another little foamy on at the back there. A lot better with the shorter handle for pontoon flicking. I found that that got stuck under, in my shirt and underneath my arm at the wrong angle so many times. Loving this rod since I did that. I was about to sell it. And then Brock suggested that I, that I chop the handle down and seriously, I'm not giving it away now. This, this rod's been going really well. It's the lighter version. I bought it for cod. It's the seven to 15 kilo. No, nine to 15 kilo. I thought that might be a little bit heavy for jacks, but seriously, if you lock up on them, this thing bends like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Did I just get my first swim boat, Jack? That's the rod I've been using, Tatula, nine to 15 kilos, seven foot six. Mine's probably about seven foot three or seven foot two now. Cut a good good three or four inches off it. Daiwa sent me the new Daiwa Tatula bait caster to have a go of, the 100H, so it's the 6.3 retrieve. So far, going really well. My favorite reel before this was the Shimano Scorpion or the Shimano Corrado 70, because it fit really nicely in my hand. Since I've been putting this on, I haven't used my other ones. This has been unbelievable. The drag is a big difference between the 70s in the Shimano and the Daiwa. This is a lot smoother in the drag. I've got 30 pound j -Braid Grand on there. I thought I'd try out the new Grand. I've been running Suffolk for forever. So I wanted to try out the Grand. So I put 30 pound on there. I used to use j -Braid when it when I first started fishing. I vowed after three months never to use it again and then switched to Suffix and have been using Suffix ever since. Going back to j -Braid Grand, the new one, I've not had an issue with it. It's actually been really good. This reel's actually gonna go on my crankbait setup. I'm gonna go get the Tatula 150 and give that a crack. I really wanna put 40 pound braid on it just so I've got a little bit more throwing around 69 and 85 dollar lures you really don't want to have anything go wrong with the braid snapping especially with slow sinks on your lure because if it snaps it goes so i'm going to go try the 150 out in uh the tatula and see how that goes probably the same same one 150 h the 6.3 retrieve that seems to be going really well with the swim baiting braids going well and then finally the leader is fc rock 50 pound we find that you don't really need to fish finesse leaders with baits this size. They're not looking at the leader if they're looking at that lure. Uh, 50 pound, could even go 60 pound, but 50 pound seems to be working all right. So that's my setup I've been using. Loving it. The only thing I'm going to change is I'm going to put this one on my crankbait setup and get the 150 for the swim baiting with 40 pound braid. Probably still run the same 50 pound leader, but that's what I've been using and it has been going really well. Last three sessions, I've got three jacks on the swim bait, so it's taken me a while, but once you start getting the technique down, biggest thing is you just gotta stick with it and keep throwing those lures and keep trying different retrieves until you start to narrow down 
what they're honing in on. Loving the swim baiting for now, but we're gonna keep going. Yeah, nothing else happened for the rest of the session. I tried one more swim bait that I've been working on, but no love. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and I will see you next episode. Until then, tight lines. No, that sucked.